Hello and welcome to the show, Hashtag Trodwas, the podcast. This is the audiobook for The Realizations of Depression Warrior and Suicide Survivor by Denmark R. Aranas. Today's episode is about my realizations inside my mind about self-motivation. Seventh chapter, Promising and Committing to Never Give Up. The greatest love of all can only be given by oneself. I realize that making a commitment to myself is like marrying myself. No other person in this world can truly love me and treat me like I am the only one in this world but myself. I have decided to make a vow to never give up on myself ever again. Just like in marriage, this vow will be protected at all costs. Self-love should always come first before other forms of love. Because if I cannot truly love myself, how can I love anyone else? I realize that for me to always be reminded of my promise to myself, I must write a letter to myself. This has been my tradition that before starting out another chapter in my life, I would write an inspirational letter to myself. There, I would tell myself how I really am. I would then enumerate the beautiful values that I've been living up to. Then, I would convince myself how I have been doing well despite my struggles. Always a part of my letter would be dedicated in motivating myself to keep my promises to people that I will never give up ever again. Aside from writing a letter to myself, I also write letters to people I love, especially to my beloved ma- family. I wrote a special letter to all of them. I also made a promise to them, a promise that I will never forget that they are always there for me no matter what. I promise them that whenever I feel demotivated and unloved, I will make an effort to reach out to them. I promise my mother how I won't leave her in this life and that I won't hurt her ever again. I promised my little sister that I would remain strong for her and I would continue to fight for her. This, these promises are bounding and I will make sure that I will never ever break any of it. I am a man of my words and never turn back to whatever promise I would do. Just as in marriage, the commitment to the vow is made strong by remaining, remaining faithful to one another. How will I make sure that I am always committed to the promise of never give up, giving up? I realize that I may always be faithful to my own self, faithful to my own truths and beliefs, systems, faithful to my own values and principles in life, faithful to my own capabilities and possibilities, faithful to my true nature no matter what. From my goodness and